Hello everybody and welcome to another Games for Dads video and today as requested we are going to be looking and making a really cool deck for brand new players. So if you're new to the game and you've only been playing for a week or two or three or certainly for not very long then this deck we're going to put together for you is absolutely cracking deck, really worth doing and it's going to carry you a long way through the game. So welcome to the video let's have a look what are we going to be doing today an immortal sue bones hybrid deck so we're going to put in all of the sue bones in the black cards i'm not going to go through them one by one um, but there's 10 of them and there they are there i'm just flashing them up for you you can have a look they're all in the same set sue bones or sue black in the bones as you say they're science cards look at those collect all 10 of those stick them in a deck uh, and they all buff each other. They're fantastic cards if you're a new player. There's no limited cards. They're all common cards in this deck. Dead easy to get. There are a few legendaries, but they're easy to get legendaries. Um, so if you do some trading or you're opening some packs, you're probably going to get half of these cards pretty quickly when you first start playing. So the first half of the deck, as I said, is Sue Bones. And the second half is the Eight Immortals. You've probably heard a lot about the Eight Immortals. Really strong like Sue Bones, all eight of these history cards buff each other. Uh, and again, they're dead easy to play. No limited, uh, or no limited cards, I should say. They're all common and rare cards. Uh, I think there's one legendary uh, in the eight immortals. So again, find all eight of those. They're easy to get and put those in with your 10 Sue Bones cards. And that will give you the 18 cards. And that's all you need. And both of these are fantastic uh, cards and really buff each other really well. So we are rank one dragon. We've got two shields. Uh, we're going to take this into the league and see how well it does. Uh, for a new player, you'll probably find it even easier to win than what we're probably going to experience today because we're fairly high on the XP. Um, but let's see how it goes anyhow. Uh, so this is the deck. The deck's there on the left. I'll leave that up for you. But like I said, if you're a new player, definitely try and put this together because you're going to win yourself a lot of games. And you don't even have to worry too much about the order you play them. Try and play three yellow and three green together, uh, but it doesn't really matter if you don't. But it's best if you try and play them together in their set. Okay, we've got a game. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's have a look. We're in a life and land arena and we're playing Voyager 3. So straight away you can see all those buffs happening on those history cards there, those eight immortals, they just keep buffing each other. There we go, even more buffs, 225 for those three yellows, not too bad for the first turn. Okay, what are we playing? Looks like we're playing right, we're playing a ramp deck here, so this is going to be interesting. A ramp deck is where you see that 16 in his little yellow circle at the top, now up to 25. Those points uh, are going to get added on each round to his uh, power score. Right, he's burning us there, but it's not the end of the world. So three green cards, any order. I always try and just play the highest value ones. Good uh, little tip for you there. So 329 against 207. We're a little bit behind, but let's see how we do. 70 behind at the moment. As I said, this is a really, really easy deck to put together. Really, really easy deck to play. Uh, and it's a really, really powerful deck. So you can't go wrong with this if you are a new player. Definitely uh, go for it. So 2-2-2 two, two, two against 1-4-5. Ooh, we're just going to scrape through a win there. That was handy. There we go. <clears throat> so we have a small lead of 7 points going into round 2. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I've got a frog in my throat again. Okay, so round two, I'm gonna play the three yellow cards of three eight immortals. As you get a little bit more experience and you do learn some of the other cards, then you can start swapping some of these cards out because science and history cards, both dead easy to buff or uh, do some cool stuff with, with other cards. But like I said, if you're new to the game, put these decks together or this deck together uh, and that will really help you get a bit of confidence playing against some much more powerful decks. So you can see in that yellow circle now he's got 73 uh, points. We're 66 in the lead. Oh, he's up to 95. He's got a nice run deck here. But Sue Bones, three cards there, 263. 
Uh, he's concentrating on getting points in the bank. He needs to get some points. Interesting strategy by him. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in a ramp deck, we've got a video on ramp decks. Check that one out. Uh, but as I said, this deck here, the eight immortals mixed with the Sue Burns, is absolutely awesome. Look at that, three, five, six. Now that's a great score. I think we're going to cruise through this round. We had a nice big lead, so yeah, there we go. We're well in front at the end of round two. Two hundred and nine points. That's great. And you will notice now that. Each turn we play, uh, the cards get a little bit more uh, high scoring. But we still got loads of energy as well, so that's good. That was one thing I was not too sure about with this deck, because the energy this week is only seven per turn once you use up that starting energy. Three, six, five, there we go, for those three, two bonus cards. Against a three, two, three, a little bit of a 50 buff there. So we're still within touching distance. Look at his yellow circle at the top there, 110 he's got now. So he starts with that at the start of every turn. Oh, okay, he's lost 47, that's a bit more like it. So, I've only got two of them. They're burning, I'm going to use them, and that green one. 3 to 8. I wanted to get the highest possible score there, that's why I went with those three. Um, so check that pink box on the card, that's the score you're going to get. Uh, the power for each turn. So we're 46 behind. I think we might let's see what can we do here we've got, only got 12 energy and that's a bit tight 252 what's he doing let's try and play three cards shall we we can play yeah we can play those three 333 three, three, that's better oh that was a good change i'm glad we did that i think that is going to win us the game so there you go guys if you are just starting out in the queue cards universe and everything if you're a new player then this is an awesome deck for you to put together like i said it's really easy to build uh, have fun if you do need any tips leave us some comments uh, underneath the video and if you do want to trade look us up in the trade in our in-game name is Dada the goat and we'll be happy to try and help you build these two or these decks so good luck thanks for watching and we will speak to you soon bye